Racked up, let's do it. What do you think, 0.5? Right? Hey everybody, welcome back to another gear placement video. This time I'm here with Bridget. Howdy. We're gonna be doing pretty much the same thing we've been doing the last couple videos. We're gonna be going over cam placements and nut placements. This time primarily, actually pretty much only in Joshua Tree because that's pretty much the only, the only place we've been climbing. It's just too much fun. Um, just like last time, we're going to be including a couple of whips throughout the climb uh, to see if the gear actually holds. Now, just to clarify, they're not whips we're taking on purpose. It's just that I'm not very good at climbing sometimes. And it's hard, <laughs> and I fall. Uh, but hopefully the gear will stick. Like always, feel free to comment on any placements that you think were bomber that I thought weren't or were not bomber that I thought were. Maybe we can learn something from it, or at least I can. Um, you can always feel free to troll too, because that's always feels funny. Nothing better than judging people from the safety of your own home and bed. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna be starting off with three bomber placements: a one, two, and three in room to shroom. Super easy. Followed up this point five. Followed up with this point five. Oh, if you didn't notice, by the way, we're gonna be putting the names of the climbs in the bottom right corner, since people were asking about that. It's kind of you. Well, it's thoughtful. Keeps it organized too. That's a bomber nut. Oh, I love this. Girth hitching, this little pillar of stone. So bomber. And then this sideways nut. Mm -hmm. This was definitely my favorite climb to protect. Because those two pieces alone. Mike's book. Yeah, those two pieces alone were just so fun. Yeah, see if you can find those placements. They're fun. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, someone send me a picture of the same placement. That'd be cool. Ooh, this is a very important point five. <laughs> oh God! All right, so this is gonna start getting a little hard for me. This climb was no joke. And we're gonna see if it holds. Here comes the fall. <laughs> very soft fall, to be honest. Like because you pulled me up. <laughs> I was pretty much. I pretty much fell at the placement. So. Not a lot of force on the cam, but it did hold, and it ended up holding several falls from above. With both of us on it. Yeah. yeah. Eventually pulled over the roof and slid to this 0.75, which is nice. I think I might have placed another piece too below, but I don't know if I got it on camera. Maybe it didn't look well. Like, it didn't come out good on mm -hmm. film. Bomber 2. There was, there Although was... it looks like it's on, like, a flake, so... I don't know. At the time I placed it because it's better than nothing. What were you saying? I was uh, going to say there's always that moment when like you're at your limit and you place your gear and then you like pull the rope out to clip it. And I'm like, Lord have mercy, please. <laughs> please don't blow it. <laughs> well, we had a couple of bomber uh, cams right there. Both horizontal placements. <clears throat> the black totem and the purple 0.5 for black diamond Ooh, holy, holy cam up in, yeah holy nut up in the air bomber i think it's gold i don't know they're so faded it's gold now or silver. yeah i think it might be silver mm -hmm. but i'm trying to get it right in that little constriction it's like a corner piece you can see it from here you know where you want it yeah Boom. it's just looking good mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. surprised Great. i'm standing so far away from the wall at that point <laughs> this 0.5 was bomber this is a scary climb for me it was at least but uh, we have a couple of bomber pieces, and then it leads up to like a run out with like a very flared crack. But uh, bomber point seven five, <laughs> a little too Old big. Fella. A little too big. But uh, so the next size down would be like the two, and the two is a little tips out, a little tipped for my liking. Mine too. Yeah. So I end up placing another one because I'm scared at this point. Cause I'm looking at a run out and I'm like, this is my, my last piece of gear, my last piece of gear before that one is really far below me. So I ended up placing this too, which actually looks pretty good from like the video standpoint, but in person, it wasn't, it, it didn't look so <laughs> hot. It looked a little too flared for me. Cause again, like that crack was flaring, but I figured two half decent cams would add up to one good cam, right? Simple math. Mm -hmm. Bomber nut right there. And that last cam was bomber, the number one. I love all the nuts in this video so far. I have no complaints. No complaints? Okay. No complaints. <coughs> Whoa, coronavirus. <laughs> What's up? 
Ooh. I know that was bomber, but it doesn't look bomber for me, if that makes sense. It looks good to me. Kind of like the opposite of the number twos, where the number two looks bomber, but I know it wasn't. And that looks fine. Oh, and it almost fit my fist. fist. Yeah, it wasn't a fist yet, but like almost. it told me that a three's coming. <laughs> it spoke to you. The wall mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, never mind. Let's move it a little bit. Do you ever go? Never mind. Let's move it a lot. Middle finger, pinky, point two. <laughs> no, actually, I'm really hard at telling like the smaller sizes. That and the three. The three caused me a lot of problems. Problems. I always think it's a three, and it ends up being a two. Sorry. But in this case, it was also a three, so it, it's, it's fine. probably because you just want to get rid of the bigger gear, you know. Mm -hmm. They're heavy. Okay. So placing this black totem away from the crack, like you can't really see the crack in video, and in person, I can't see the crack either. So I hate placing like that because you don't really get a good look at how the lobes are engaged. Yeah. But I had to clip something because there's nothing at this point, and just gave me the confidence to like reach over and then look and I was like okay cool it does look pretty good the black totem <laughs> and then I realized there's a little space below it and I could fit a point two and I trust the point two way more than the black totem because I've never fallen on the black totem but I've fallen on the point two like countless of times so I got a bomber point two there oh you know what there was a piece like f way further down to the right but that's not doing anything right yeah, here yeah that would have yeah. kept you off the ground but uh it's a real hard 510a for me <laughs> so we're gonna end up this falling hard yeah so we're gonna end up falling and uh we're gonna find out if that black totem holds now's your chance to take a guess and it held <laughs> Whew. if it blew i think would have been in a little bit of trouble to be honest <laughs> no the point two would have helped and then a little further up here's another bomber point two Oof. Bomber. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Bomber purple totem. Honestly, what? For all the puffery, I was just. Maybe it was just too puffed up. Oh, all the hype? Yeah. It was a fun climb, but it wasn't worth all the hype. It's got like four stars in the guidebook. Yeah, I didn't see mm -hmm. But we end up extending all these pieces because it's such a traversing route. Um, not something I end up doing very often in Joshua Tree because the routes are either pretty straightforward. Or they're just not long enough where rope drag would be a huge issue. But uh, I swear that's overcammed. I mean, I really think so. Maybe yeah, it, maybe. it was tight. It was tight. But I feel like a point seven five. It was just a little too loose for me. The point seven five when I tried I it. I trust you. Yeah. And like I said, like we could try to umbrella it. There was no Pac Man. Hold. Pac Man ate yeah. it. It was yeah. gone. <laughs> Pac Man wasn't hungry. He was, yeah, he was, he was full. chewing hard. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll give it to you. The red was over camp. Maybe not, you know? Who knows? We'll see what people think. People love to let me know when I'm over camp, I think. Look at this twisted arm. I don't know what I'm doing. Working hard. <laughs> Why not? It's too easy for you. Let's see. Go with a. God, I point hate. Three. I hate trying to find a place to put gear in places like that because that just looks so shallow and terrible yeah but not I mean, your gear like i the, just get nervous the point I'm three was so... bomber Ooh, now that's no pac-man right Damn, there babe i can't even see the other lobe now Lord. <laughs> <laughs> no but it's okay because i know it's bad you know. i know so i pull it out and i'm like i don't want that like wait this is actually a good gear <laughs> but this two is bomber Ooh, it's a little loose for me too. Look at this purple totem. It's a little too open, so thanks. Especially because you placed it from the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's like wider. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But watch this next piece. I know it's good. I think it ends up being a point seven five. And look at this perfect Pac Man. Like. Oh yeah, he's here lobes. to save your life. Yeah, the lobes are like just engaged enough that they make that little Pac Man shape. I love it. The purple totem ended up redeeming itself. A purple sword. What a cool name. Ends up being a pretty good number one right there. That one was an overcam. Good little nut here. Again, I like all the nuts in this video. I don't know who placed them, but he did a pretty good job. He's I think. a good nut placer. I think he did okay. 
I wouldn't say he's good. He's okay. But he did okay. I think he did pretty good. It looks a little shallow though, actually, from here. But I, <laughs> but I. <laughs> <laughs> actually. Actually, never mind. You trying to die? No, but I know that one was good. And then for some reason here on this video, so I remember when I was trying to place it, I didn't like it, and I tried it in Maybe every it direction. Maybe wider below. Yeah. I tried it in every direction, and that's the biggest one we had that day. Oh yeah. Because we didn't have the big blue one. You're offset. Yeah, but uh, here it looks like it's just fine. I don't know. Yeah, but for some reason I didn't place it. I ended up taking it out. Yeah. The offset DMM, that's really bite, man. Yeah, they do. Yeah. No. Ended up climbing higher, placing this purple totem. Looks good to me. I guess I trusted it more than that red nut, though. So it must be good. It looks like it's engaged it's well. It's a totem. What is this, a point four? Is it gray? Yep. Oh, no. You don't like that one? Oh, no, I do. <laughs> oh, no, what then? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just that's what I would be thinking if I was on the sharp end. So this is, I think, one I didn't like because I can, again, I can barely see the crack and the camera can see it, but I can't. And so I'm kind of placing blind. And then now that I look at it, like, when I got there, when I moved over and I saw that there was, like, two, like, again, like, blocks or like choke stones or maybe it's just the way that the rock eroded i just it it caused doubt in my mind danger zone yeah and so i climbed a little higher after placing that piece and then i found this perfect nut placement and i was like oh i'm safe <laughs> you can't call mountain rescue now <laughs> <laughs> oh fella good job thank you thank you that's nice I think it was an interesting point seven five placement. I just don't like it. I know it's probably fine, but to me, because it's open I'm, at the bottom. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. That seems like that's a tight three. That's all right. I don't think I like two though. Oh, oh I stabbed my finger right there the inside the crack. Don't it ended up making me bleed actually. Oh no. And then so I don't. So you're the reason there's blood on that wall. No, I kept it to myself okay, actually. I wiped right. it on my pants. That's so kind of you. Thank mm -hmm. you. No fire hazards today. Yeah. LMT, actually. Leave no trace. I don't like this one because it looks like it's on a choke stone. Even though I underclinged that thing and it held just fine, it didn't even move. I still didn't like it and I was stoked to be able to put a three, like one foot above <laughs> it. But I couldn't put the three yet. I had to make a move and yeah. I needed a piece. I personally needed a piece. I feel you. Mm -hmm. a decent little point five. What do you think of this point three? It looks a little tight. You're working to try to yeah. get something. I think it's because like I see a constriction and I know it'll fit there perfectly, so I, I try you... to fit it into the constriction. Yeah, I think a lot of times you slot your cams like nuts. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, like Bomber your nut gear hardly blows. It only ever blew. It's only ever blown twice. <laughs> Thank God. But one time the rock exploded yeah, around it. Yeah, that was not your fault. That was a chaos. Yeah, area. and that was the only place to place. That's not gonna. Here, that was a good point seven five, and I think everybody else saw the uh, gear popping in the last gear video, oh, gear placement video. Yeah, it was the pods. Yeah, so if you want to see gear popping, it's in the last video. Good horizontal placements. I end up slide still like like what we we're talking about. Like I always end up sliding them in. I try to find like a constriction for the cams so that they're almost placed like nuts. And I think that's why sometimes I tend to be like on the more slightly like more cam side than the open side but i mean we've never gotten one stuck no right? only like yeah. once where oh no we got it out Do you, you're perfect. talking about on the echo t wall no the one that you were like this one's stuck no, and i went down no, and i took no, it out no. in like two seconds the top of white lightning a while ago. Oh yeah, on the anchor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how that happened, but we got it out. That I don't know how that happened. It slid we were it. like water, sunscreen, yeah. anything. Yeah. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, that's pretty much all the uh, climbs for this, or all the pieces for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment if you uh, agree or disagree with anything. Let us know. We hope you enjoyed it, and oh, keep an eye out. We're gonna be doing a anchor. Uh, anchor video so it'll be similar to this but it'll be like for anchors and uh let us know if you want to see anything different
we hope you enjoyed it and i hope you subscribe and hopefully we'll see you outside yeah we'll be out there <laughs>